Hello, mister. Uh, we are the TCBS film crew, Samuel Roanhorse, and this is my partner. Casey Singer. So, can you, can you like, please introduce yourself? Is Absolutely. It? My name is Alfonso Bitsuri. I'm the HPDP director, originally from Wonder Rock, Arizona. My clans are Monday Skizzy and Hushman, Tola, Bushishin, Glossier, Shishi, and Dishnoa. So, we're going to ask you like, a couple of questions. Okay. Question number one is going to be, what is the wellness center for? The Wellness Center. Well, this is the HPDP, which stands for Health Promotion Disease Prevention Program. Our Wellness Center or Fitness Center is a community activity that people can engage in to increase uh, physical activity, to decrease uh, diabetes. So it's a diabetes prevention program. Um, it's also um, known to help with heart disease as well as uh, um, preventing some kinds of cancer. So it is open to the community. Uh, we have youth hours, we have elder hours, and we have community hours. Wow, very impressive. <clears throat> so my partner Casey Singer is going to be doing a, a second question. What is the HPDP mission? The HPDP mission is to get the community more active to have them engage in at least 30 minutes of physical activity for adults and 60 minutes of activity for uh, the younger people. It is also geared towards um, initiating public uh, activities such as JMI, such as the hiking series, the biking series. Uh, we have some get fit challenges that we have. So our mission is to get the community um, more information about diabetes, diabetes prevention, and also increasing the physical activity. That's good to know. Okay, question number three. Why is it important? Why is it important? Health is important, it's very important. As a Native American, as, as being Navajo, diabetes is running rampant within the community, within the, the Navajo Nation um, reservation, as well as a, lo a lot of Indian communities. So, it's important because we want everybody to be healthy. Okay, we know health, the health outcomes if we don't take care of ourselves, such as if we have high blood sugar, we can lose our eyesight, we can have amputations if we don't take care of ourselves, we can go on dialysis. So those are some things that we want to avoid. Uh, we definitely want to, we target our youth because we know the youth uh, need to be active and to teach their kids eventually their families that diabetes can be prevented so that is why it's important what service does the wellness center offer what services do those well does the wellness center offer okay we'll go ahead and start with my my employees okay and i'll tell you what they what they're responsible for so we'll start with our diabetes prevention coordinator her name is elena curley she is in charge of the uh diabetes prevention programs for the youth which is called Take Charge and uh, it is for 9 to 12 year olds and again they, they uh, bring their families, uh, their guardians, their brothers and sisters to learn more about how we can become more healthy through eating, physical activity and how the families can be involved in that. Uh, we have our HP coordinator, our health promotion coordinator and that's Chad Barlow. Chad Barlow is responsible for our CHIP program. CHIP stands for our community health improvement and planning and he goes out into the community works with the communities the chapters to again um, bring information to those communities and um, have them uh, have activities in their community so they don't have to travel to tuba city for what we're offering so we can go into the schools we can go into the chapters um, anywhere they're willing to have us we can we can assist with that uh, we have our uh, health coach, Monica Huber. She, she works al alongside Elena Curley, and her focus is, again, the, the diabetes prevention program. She, she is a certified uh, sports medicine, um, certified in sports medicine, and also she works with the kids, uh, makes uh, exercising fun, so that's what she does. And we have our school health, he's a physical education specialist, and his, his uh, emphasis is the fitness gram assessment. The assessment, we, uh, 
we target all the youth within the schools in our service area. So all the schools around here, you guys may have taken part in that. It, it has push-ups, sit-ups, uh, stretches, uh, running, and uh, height and weight. So those are all assessed. What we've been that's been going on for about 13 or 14 years, and what we're seeing is that there's an increase in kids that are overweight or obese, which means that they're in the 85th percentile. Okay, and so we get that and we try to make a difference again with our programs that we offer. Uh, what we notice is since COVID, we noticed that a lot of uh, kids, they are gaining a lot of weight. So there's more kids now that are in those categories than there was before COVID. So those are the things that we're tackling. And lastly, we have our physical uh, activity specialist. Her name is Brittany. Brittany uh, Jim and she is responsible for all the community activities that you see so right now we're having our just move it series the next one uh, is it going to be in Flagstaff on Tuesdays uh, so you guys must come out to the ones that are having in the weekend after the week after on Tuesdays my own Kopi and our finale is going to be in Tuba City so you guys can all make that um, she is responsible for the get fit challenges and those are open to all our take charge participants our um, families that are in our lifestyle balance program uh, so they're able to work up to four or five miles and then we, we pay for their entry fee into the Pat Tillman run which is in Tempe and that takes place I believe in March so that is what she does along with Vikings the biking series the hiking series that's coming up um, and then the uh, turkey trot and then the the uh, Christmas jingle I think it's called reindeer run I think that's what it was called so those are the things that she does so that's what we offer that's nice to know how can kids like me be a member of the wellness center and plus is there a fee good question so how you become a member uh, for, of the fitness center is to uh, come into an orientation which is about 25 to 35 minutes uh, we also we are actually going to have it on the internet to where you can take the test and bring in the results and we'll check it to make sure you guys looked at the, the video and then we check your ID and you have to come with your parents so you just can't come in and get a membership your parent or your guardian has to be there with you uh, how can you how can kids like you use utilize the fitness center? Well, you have to be a part of our um, one of our programs. So for your case, it would be the Take Charge program. You would come in, and, and your family will come in, whoever you're going to be coming with, and you guys can utilize the fitness center with uh, the instructor, whether it be Elena or Monica. So there's a few ways that you guys can work out. If you're 14 and over, you, we have youth hours dedicated to you, so 3 to 5, there's nothing but youth in here. If you're 14 and you're, your parents want to come work out with you, that is allowed also. But they must have you with them if you're going to work out um, after when you turn 14. So these six questions are for you as because you're a director. So what do you do here at the HPDP? What do I do here at HPDP? Okay, so we are a grant-funded program through the federal government called the Special Diabetes Program for Indians. This year, we've been working on a five-year grant, so we will continue these um, grant-funded programs for the next five years. We were approved, so my job is to make sure that we continue to do what we say we're gonna do in the grant, so to get money for the fitness center and these programs that we have, we have to write out what the plan is for the next five years. So again, for the next five years, we're, gonna, we're going to um, concentrate on the school-aged children and the diabetes prevention program and diabetes management um, for the patients to, to, to uh, understand and learn more about that disease. So that is what I do. I also um, have to look overlook the budget, so the money, the funds that are coming through, I have to make sure that those are divvied through our programs. Um, 
also working with the, uh, the entire hospital to, from the referral program to the execution of our program, um, our program initiatives. Uh, we have to meet, uh, we have to go to meetings and talk about things that are challenges, things that are working well and improvements that we can make. So this is an ongoing basis. We work with not only uh, the Tuba City Healthcare, but we work with the Navajo Nation, we work with the county, and we also work with the federally funded uh, tribes that are within our grants. Wow, that's like pretty interesting. So question two, how long has the HPDP been open? Great question. So I believe the, the first SDPI grant that was initiated was back in, I believe this was a study back in 1997, I believe. Once they, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was regarding diabetes prevention and they found that diabetes can be prevented through exercise and nutrition uh, and the, the chance of developing diabetes, even though if your mom has it, your grandpa has it, your dad has it, it's about 58%. So, so even though you have that hereditary factor, meaning that if, if uh, my son, if I had diabetes, my son would most likely have diabetes. Even that, that, that um, hereditary factor would go away by 58% if we eat healthy and we exercise. So once that was initiated, or once, once that was proven, the grant funded money um, started to uh, allow more education of this, of the, about the diabetes prevention program. So it's been around since the late 1990s. Okay, uh, we are in our 25th annual Just Move It series. So 25 years ago, we had our first Just Move It event. So we are 25 years strong with that one. So we've been around for a while. Dang, 25 years? Yes, 25 years. Okay, fair question. What inspired you to be a director of the HPDP? Good question. I. I went to school at Arizona State University and I received my degree in exercise science or kinesiology. And from there, my jobs led me to, the, to become a director. I was a um, health coach at one time, a lifestyle coach. Uh, I was a trainer at one time. And then I just kept on moving up the ladder. And then I became the lead, the manager, and then a director at another facility. And then I, became a director for the HPDP program about three and a half years ago. What's your vision for HPDP in 15 years? In 15 years? Yes. That is a great question. 15 years from now. So how old will you be in 15 years? So I am 12 turning into 13 this year, 15 years. So you'd be about 27. Yeah. Okay. So 27 years from now, I want the community to be healthier. I want them to know that when you're a grandfather, when you're a Che, that your kids will be eating healthier and exercising, not just in front of the TV, not just on your phones and not just sitting inside, but doing more things that, that keep you active, like sports. It doesn't have to be sports. It can be uh, bike riding. It can be uh, getting out and hunting, hiking, walking, you know, things like that. So I want to see the community more active. I want to see the diabetes, um, the, the rate of diabetes go down. Okay, so we want to do that. We want to see uh, healthier people. I uh, want to see the numbers of heart disease going down. You know, some types of cancers, I want those to go down. So that in 15 years, I want to see you in my place or working for, for someone that's the director of a healthcare program or the hospital that way you can introduce your thoughts and your ideas about how your community should should become healthy. How do you think that should be? Okay, so that's what I want to see. I want to see a lot of uh, you, people going to school um, to try to better their communities. That's, that's what I want to see. Okay, 